my dear friends today we are entering into the 15th ordinary sunday in the liturgical year the word of god speaks to us especially from the first reading from the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 speaks about blessings and curses that comes into the life of man god loves each one of us god has created us in his goodness and image and god wants us to know him to love him and to be with him that all that of god will be with us being blessed we will be a blessing to the world that's what god told abraham in genesis chapter 12 also my son leave everything and come with me learn to love me and become a blessing being with me you become a blessing and carry that blessing to this world which is desperately in need of god and love having said that today's gospel also speaks about the same what is the meaning of loving god leads to loving god leads to love one another so in the first reading of today deuteronomy the lord says how we see that possible for us the human beings who live on this earth to love god and to love one another is it possible most of the times we are concerned and worried about our own self we are caught up with the issues of our own self as long as our thoughts are connected with ourselves we cannot go beyond ourselves that's why in today's first reading moses instructs the people of israel always learn to listen to the voice of god the word of god okay if we have to listen to the word of god means how to listen and what happens when we listen first we will address the thing that what will happen to us when we listen to the word of god it is the human mind that decides our thoughts make us who we are the way we think we become so as long as our minds and thoughts are connected with this world and with our issues only those thoughts begin to influence our lives but if we raise up our minds and our hearts to listen to god's voice god's thinking god's planning god's way of thinking about who am i what is my identity yes my mind will receive the thought of heaven that's why in isaiah 55 verse 8 it is written your thoughts are not my thoughts your ways are not my ways so the word of god which god gave to moses and shaped the people and led the people in the desert the word of god that created the world through the holy spirit the same word who has become a flesh to dwell among us in the person of jesus the same word is available to us so we can walk with the word in three ways we have to live with the word of god in three ways and get into the thoughts of god that we may become as god desires to love him and love one another so how to get into the thought of god that is number 1 the word of god has to be near us wherever we go we have to carry the word of god yes i remember once when i was a seminarian i was little disturbed because some people spoke something about me that i was wearing dhoti and i am not good at 
Hindi and so on. So I went and told a priest called Father Pinto. I said, see these boys are making fun of me. They say I don't know Hindi and so on. So he gave me a booklet called Power of Positive Thinking by a great man called Vincent Norman Peel. So when I read that, the whole book is based on one word of God, Philippians 4.13. I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. When I heard that the word of God, when I read it, I, it was so good to me. So that led me to read the whole chapter of Philippians chapter 4, especially in verse 12. I was so much filled. I know how to live, whatever may be the situation. So hope, the word of God gave me hope, I can also do. And the hope gave me faith, I can handle everything, my God is with me. I can do everything, that kind of hope came to me through the word of God. When I entered deeply into that word of God, the hope gave me faith that my God is with me. From then on, I realized the fear went away, the worries went away. So, I was so happy. Then again, whenever my friends are trying to attack me or criticize me, make fun of me, again it was attacking me. So, when I went and told that father, he said, whenever you feel the worldly thoughts, people's thoughts are attacking your mind, you take the word of God, which is the sword of the Holy Spirit. When you take the sword and give it into the hands of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will fight for you. Yes, the thoughts of heaven, thoughts of God alone will help you to handle the thoughts of the world. So, I began to confess through my mouth. Whenever I felt a little fear, immediately I started to speak. The word of God. My God is with me. If God is for me, who can be against me? God is my Lord. Yes, the word of God, which was near to me, it began to move through my mouth. Yes. And then I still remember when I was going to bed, sometimes these thoughts used to come. Again, I went and told the father. The father said, look, you write the word of God on the cot all the four sides, you tie it up and keep it. So whenever you get up, you remember the word of God is surrounding you. Yes, I kept it all on the, all the four corners. So it was ruling my mind. When I went to bed, when I get up or when I move away, that word of God was in my mind telling, be courageous, giving me hope that you can do anything because of the faith you have in Christ Jesus. He is with you. The word gives us hope to handle the issues. The hope leads us to the person of Jesus, to have faith in Jesus, to love him and to see him in one another. In today's second reading, that's what we read from the book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 10 to 20. Remember, what Jesus has done for you and me. The price he paid for us on the cross. How we are so precious to him that he gave everything of himself for us. Will he not give the Holy Spirit to us? You are bought by the price. Yes, this word, this truth that sets us free. Let anybody think of me anything. Let any issues come. There is nothing beyond my God who is with me. Yes, that's why 1 John 5, 4 says, It is our faith that Jesus is our Lord, helps us to overcome the world. Yes, in the gospel of today, we find having filled with the love of Jesus, the faith in Jesus, the hope that God is with us, with the faith, hope and love in Jesus, we go to the world which has no faith, which has no hope, which has no love. And God wants to use you and me by transforming our thoughts, by filling our lives with hope, 
faith and love we need to love the world we need to give hope to the world we need to fill the world with the faith in jesus and faith in themselves and faith in one another today jesus gives us in luke's gospel chapter 10 the good samaritan a young man asked jesus what is the greatest commandment love your god he understood what is the meaning of loving neighbor and jesus gives the example a thief few thieves came and they saw a man traveling and they said this man is traveling he is carrying the money and all he has is mine so they kicked him and they were not bother whether that man is wounded or not they plucked away everything because their thinking is all that others have are mine i will do anything to help whatever others have and jesus gives another group of people they came on the way the priest the levite they are people of god but when they saw this man wounded they said whatever god has given me is for me i should not spend my time with this fellow and get defiled so they said whatever god has given to me i and my god so they were running towards god not bothering about this man so the second group of people their thinking is whatever i have is for me and i don't bother about others then jesus explains about a samaritan a man belonging to the lower caste but higher thinking what did he do he saw a man dying wounded immediately compassion came to him immediately a thought came to him he is also a human being like me he has god the same god who is in me is in him when he is suffering really the god in me is suffering so if i share whatever i have with him i am sharing to god himself and sharing my love to another is the call of my god and that's what god has created me for so he had little oil he had little money he had his donkey so he took the oil cleaned his wounds poured the oil and tied his wounds put it on his ass and then took him to the inn and gave all that money he said to the inn keeper please take care of him i will return back if there is something has to be paid i will pay back that means he gave everything of himself the thinking of this man is that all that god has given to me is for me and for others yes my dear friends jesus said this is the man who loves god and loves one another this is the call of a christian he said there are three type of thoughts in the world one is all that others have is mine i will do anything to take it away the second group of people say whatever i have is only for myself only the third man samaritan thought and he said whatever god has given me is for me and for others may this sunday help us to know how much god has loved us what is the price he has paid for us that we may hear the word of god and have hope in life hope helps us to have faith in jesus and to share that faith hope and love to this broken world may god use each one of us let's pray thank you father for this beautiful sunday thank you for the book of deuteronomy where you taught us to love you with our whole heart to love you means what is that in today's second reading the colossians yours taught us that your son jesus loved us to the extent of laying down his life for us shedding his blood for us he has reconciled us with the father yes lord in the gospel of today you have taught us you are called us not only to love you but also to love one another to see you in the face of one another please bless all those who listen to the word of god that the truth that you teach us 
may grow in them. This world and all its glory will pass away. But those who love you and love one another, they will always live with you forever and ever. Bless each one of them with your hope, with your faith and with your love. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.